So, cosmetic surgery has helped a lot of people feel more comfortable in their own skin, but what happens when your skin doesn't stay the same? Not so comfortable anymore, huh? Celebs have received plastic surgery very young are now warning the new wave of young stars against getting plastic surgery procedures until they're older. But some ignored naysayers going on to destroy their faces and bodies, and maybe now even their careers. Erin Moriarty has become the new face, literally, of young celebrities giving in to public perception and beauty standards, partly because the dichotomy found in her getting plastic surgery when her character, Starlight, in the show that launched her fame, The Boys, struggles with media attention on her body and face and receiving pressure to look a certain way and appease beauty standards. For fans of her character to see Erin undergo surgery for the exact thing Starlight was trying to run from, it caused a mass wave on social media. It became the epicenter of a conversation on young women being deeply affected by beauty standards and what features are deemed beautiful or not. Megyn Kelly recently did a news story with The Daily Wire's Michael Knowles calling plastic surgery a social illness. Kelly used Moriarty, who has received buccal fat removal, a chin and jaw sh shave surgery, a nose job, microblading, and lip injections as her example, saying more and more young women are doing this, referring to unnecessary plastic surgery on an already beautiful face. Kelly said, It's not about an objection to plastic surgery. It's about an obsession with turning yourself into a fake version of yourself. I find it like a sign of mental illness. I really want to get into the heads of these young girls and say, please don't do this. Another fan base that was quick to point out the differences in their fave celeb was Noah Cyrus's. Noah Cyrus, who actually looked quite similar to her sister Miley and her mother Tish in her younger years, first went through a shocking visual change circa 2020. She debuted lip filler and cheek filler and microbladed eyebrows, as was the trend at the time in beauty, and it's something she's maintained as a visual since. But in 2023, it looks like she went a step further when she got a no job, as was pointed out by her fans after she attended the January 2023 Paris Fashion Week looking shockingly different. And now, in 2024, she has sparked rumors for buccal fat removal, as she's recently debuted uber gaunt cheeks, the current trend thanks to Ozempic as well. Someone who's also faced some commentary for looking different from their debut days is Quan Nara, the former Hello Venus K-pop idol turned actress's plastic surgery controversy was sparked when photos from her junior high days were leaked online. There are some noticeable differences, primarily in the brow bone and nose area, which sparked discussions and some rumors about her having had plastic surgery. As the rumors escalated, she eventually addressed the speculation through a TV episode of Taxi. After the host admitted to having had plastic surgery himself on his nose and eyes, Nara explained, I was shocked by my appearance at the beginning of my debut and have been consistently working on staying in shape ever since. She also insisted she never received plastic surgery, but that she's just been getting Botox for a long time. Despite her claim, plenty of her adoring fans did send messages of positivity and love, claiming even if she did have pot plastic surgery, as many still suspect she did, they weren't going to judge her for it. Reed Ewing, however, judged himself pretty harshly and shared how that affected his plastic surgery journey in the Huffington Post. The modern family actor expressed in an essay he had written about his heartbreaking battle with body dysmorphia. Ewing revealed that after moving to LA for bigger and better gigs, he became obsessed over what he perceived to be imperfections in his appearance as a man. That he wasn't handsome enough, chiseled enough, that these things would affect his career and his castability. His first plastic surgery as a result is at 19 when he gets cheek implants, which he described as incredibly painful both physically and emotionally. He had to wear a mask for weeks after the procedure, which led to him temporarily avoiding his home to avoid people knowing he had had it. Ewing claimed that the implants had actually made his face appear more gaunt because they defined his cheekbones rather than the actual cheek, and his second doctor then suggests a chin implant as a correction, instead of just removing the problem implants. Ewing got pr additional procedures, which led to more procedures, all in an effort to correct the prior ones. He had essentially become addicted to plastic surgery and explained that never once did a doctor recommend removing the things and just getting therapy. They always recommended doing more and more, feeding into the addiction and lining their own pockets. Reed has since sworn off plastic surgery in 2023, claiming it made him feel even more insecure and isolated than he did before he got any work done at all. Nikita Draga needed plastic 
plastic surgery to help her blossom into the woman that she is. But she too, like Reed, became addicted and fell into a pattern of unnecessary surgeries that chased down imagined imperfections. Nikita, who was born the male sex, transitioned to the female sex over the past decade and shared that journey online, earning millions of followers in the process with her bold and brash personality. But in 2018, Nikita decided to get real about another side of herself she wasn't documenting. To quote, I recently broke this addiction, she expressed, and I know that's a lot to take in, but let me explain. Nikita shared that the hardest part of her transition was her hormone therapy. The changes in her body resulted in her being critical of her appearance, suffering from body dysphoria, and ultimately leading her to undergo more and more cosmetic procedures. Getting her brow bone and jaw shaved, she got four nose jobs, she got Botox, she got breast implants, which required more surgery to fix the complications with the breast tissue following. To quote, I felt this immense pressure to need to pass, to need to be a woman, to need to feel this level of confidence, so I was really in this dark place where I had to look in the mirror and stop myself from wanting to change everything because it got to the point where I didn't even know why I was doing the surgeries anymore, she explained. Thankfully, the starlet has recovered from her addiction and continues to be an advocate for transgender youth and those with plastic surgery addictions. Crystal Hefner also came clean about her plastic surgery addiction and how it was shaped too by the unrealistic pressures put on women to fit certain parameters of beauty or otherwise they'd be deemed unwomanly. As a Playboy model and one of Hugh Hefner's wives, Crystal Hefner felt that she was expected to look a certain way, explaining years later, I don't know whether I felt empowered by dressing scantily clad, showing cleavage, etc., or if I just felt it was expected of me or what, she shared on Instagram. Whatever the reasons were, Hefner had a variety of surgeries performed on her, which eventually took a toll on her health. Her breast implants caused memory loss, spatial disorientation, migraines and fatigue, and a fat transfer surgery almost cost her her life. After all her negative experiences with cosmetic alterations and exhausted of maintaining the Hefner image after the dirtbag's death, Crystal opted for a more natural look, both in real life and on social media. To quote her, I removed everything fake from my body and I deleted all my old photos. I am more authentic, vulnerable, and I feel I belong more to myself. She further explained she had concerns about who would stick around with her account moving in that new direction. As I saw followers drop by the thousands every day, I was in the red. I was watching girls that had similar pages keep posting the same scantily clad stuff and growing exponentially while I tanked hard. But in the end, while she initially lost followers, her numbers eventually rebounded into a fan base that respected her authenticity. This next influencer once gave an Instagram shout out to a plastic surgeon, it's Sophia Ritchie. The plastic surgeon she shouted out in question was celebrity Jason Diamond, to whom she accredited, thank you for always taking care of me. Though Sophia 29 at the time didn't specify what work she'd had done, Dr. Rodriguez, who a board certified internal medicine physician suggests based off her age and her facial changes during aging, to quote, Sophia has likely received a rhinoplasty, lip fillers, an under eye filler, and maybe chin filler. As for her wrinkle free skin, probably Botox injections or laser treatments. Speaking of barely there adjustments made through plastic surgery, Hailey Bieber has had some sneaky subtle style of work done on her as well. Most of the young celebs nowadays, it's very subtle. Or do you not remember the the iconic Kanye 2022 moment where for no reason during social media rant he aired out the fact Haley had a rhinoplasty calling her nose job Haley bald loose. The model 27 vehemently denied it at the time but the rumors been following her forever uh, and understandably so when past and present pictures are lined up. According to Dr. Ramton Kassir, founder of Kassir Plastic Surgery, he thinks she got work done specifically around her eyes. To quote, she likely had a buck, a blepharoplasty aka a brow lift or some expertly injected Botox around the brows. Another starlet who had blink and you miss it minor plastic surgery was Dove Cameron. There's no denying this one. The Descendant Star 28 has been acting since 8, so it's not surprising her look would evolve, but her asset changes suggest more than just growing up. Dove really looks like how she did when she was younger, just if you also happen to grab the skin around her temple and upper cheekbone area and yank it back towards her hairline. Dove has gotten a rhinoplasty as well as upper blepharoplasty plasty, as her eyelids are no longer as hooded, claims Dr. Carlos Rod Rodriguez, director of Skinny Med Spa. He also threw in the speculation her lips may have filler, but he can't determine that as a factor of age or not, unlike very obvious brow lift. And last up is a celebrity whose subtle surgery combos became not so subtle when paired together. It's actually Miley Cyrus. Pair up her buccal fat removal, the big veneers with lip filler, eyebrow lift, and her newest diet of Ozempic, and you got a Miley Cyrus that looks like a permanently surprised
Christ Tim Burton character. This exact cocktail is what almost all our adored female celebrities have had done in the recent years. It's a surefire winner and it highlights all the features most popular in bone structure and faces right now. But that's the thing, just because a feature is popular doesn't mean you can make it suit your face. Take Cyrus's notoriously soft cheeks and round face, it's completely genetic, you see them on both her parents and her siblings, but Miley decided to suck the buccal fat out and expose her cheekbones, which her face isn't really meant to do. It's caused the singer to look extremely gaunt. It clashes with her newest set of veneers, which they themselves are a whole other problem because they're too big for her mouth. You haven't noticed she's always had it open recently? I think she's playing it off well as an aesthetic thing, but it genuinely seems like it's just uncomfortable for Miley Cyrus to have her mouth closed around those giant veneers. You can even see the difference between them and her authentic teeth photographed in years prior. Meanwhile, up top, Miley did an eyebrow lift, which is to help her cheekbone not look so much gaunt as delicate, but it didn't really take. Instead, Miley is given a distinctly surprised and skeletal looking face. And since her cheeks were drained and her eyebrows yanked back, her eyes are looking larger than life in the middle. Well, the singer's newest 70s style aesthetic, 70s country blend aesthetic is helping carry these newly augmented features, as is her stylist. You know, the big coiffed hair distracts from the yank back eyebrows, slinky 70s dresses distract from an alarmingly thin ozempic frame, etc, etc. There's no denying Miley's had some very in your face work done on, well, her face. But if you want to, you can always argue below in the comments or share this video with some friends and family to get their takes. Until next time, be sure to drop a like on our video and our page and I'll see you around.